guys welcome back and happy new year i know um, today's already the second but um yesterday i wanted to take a break from resin or acrylic pouring let me see if i'm taping yes i'm taping but today i'm back on the track <laughs> i hope you had all a lovely um new year's eve and spent some time maybe with some friends maybe not um, we were allowed to have one couple in our garden so this is what we did oh, there's cat hair on there it's everywhere cat hair let me just clean this a little bit and put this nice in layer it's from Molden Shapes. I received this with my last bigger order on Black Friday. You need to put this um, with the um, smooth side, not with the pattern side, um, on your mold. So you have the pattern on top. What I want to do today is, is a paddle pour. Um, my resin is already sitting for quite a while. Let me just put it here. My resin is the normal um, Art Pro from Resin Pro. My colors will be today the Tequila Sunrise from Petra Youngblood, the Tropicana and the Truly Red. So I hope to achieve some nice effects with this. And yeah. Let me put my colors into this little um, container, little cups. It's not a container. Look at the brightness of this red. I go like this. And the Tropicana. So I want quite a colorful um, little trayer. And the tequila sunrise. I'm only going with colors. No clear. Um, yeah. Let me just put this in like half a cup full of each. Like so. And let me Mix up my colors. I have no idea if I need more. Look at this red. It's a nice color. Huh? But I may need to put a little bit more in here. Yeah? So let me just do it. Also maybe a little bit more resin. I do not want to run out halfway. Uh, first the color. Yeah, now it's getting darker, more opaque. So you cannot see through. Things here. Now the Tropicana, which is a very, very beautiful orange. This can have a tiny bit more of resin. So, 
maybe also a little bit more let me clean this thick a little bit more of the um, tropicana in there don't be so thrifty petra <laughs> This is the Tequila Sunrise. Yeah, I think this is all right. Maybe a little bit more resin on top. So you see, I made up quite a lot of resin because I want to continue later but i think this is a nice nice color combination so um what am i gonna do i think i'm gonna go from light to dark or shall i go from dark to light this needs a little bit of a stir so does this Hmm. Sometimes I wish, you know, people could tell me and yeah, but where well, I go with the red, I want to go in puddles and They are really nice colors. And the yellow. I think they are mixing very well with each other. They are fitting very well with each other, those colors. And I might give it a torch as soon as I hit all the edges. Look at this. It looks yummy, doesn't it? <laughs> I enjoy doing the resin so much, testing things, trying things. A little bit more. And the yellow. Let me just let it um, settle a little bit. Resin searches its way. And let me touch very carefully not to burn your mold. Continue with my red. And my orange till I'm I'm really topped up. These modes and inlayers from modern shapes are really awesome. I really, really adore them and um, I wonder what they what they've done during the Christmas holidays, what they come up to, because I think they have very nice ideas. I love their coaster holders. It's an awesome idea. still have a little 
little bit more so I'm gonna go with this but see how nicely it's blending wow and I guess this will be my last yellow up on dry there are always these little bubbles something in my resin no maybe a little bit of the red still because it's still not topping up don't know what's there at the side i will have a look let me just get stick and see what is going on here. No idea what this is. There's another one. Mm, got you. Yeah. Give it a torch again. And then I take you down for a close-up. It's always amazing how resin does its patterns. Well, I think so. Okay, let me get my gloss off and take you down for a close-up. On. And look at this, look at those colors, how they are blending. Isn't this nice? Really, really love it. Nice color scheme. Okay, um, I guess I'm going to be back in around about half an hour to see how they are blending. Okay, see you then. Hi. Hi guys, look at this, how beautiful those colors are blending with each other. I really, really love it. I hope it's going to be nice underneath too, but we will see. Okie dokie, bye bye. Hey guys, I'm back and... I'm molding time. I'm really curious because I really like the way um, those micas have blended. These are, um, these were or are the micas from Petra Jungblut, and her um, natural micas. They are really, really, really very, very beautiful. So let me get this out of this mold. It's very red, <laughs> yeah, but I like it. Um, these molds are really awesome. They just pop out. And look here. I have only a few tiny overflows. With the rest, it seems to be all right. So let me just... Oh, this goes very, very easily. And wow, look at this. There are a few spots where I didn't steer the mica 100%. Oh, there's um, yeah, now it's flat. Um, where I didn't steer the mica 100%, but beside this, I cannot see many. Bubbles, no. I 
think I did this pretty well. Wow, I really, really like this. Um, yeah, let me take you down for a close up so you can see the details of this. Look at that. I'm really, really happy with this. It's beautiful. Okie dokie. I love to leave you for now. And yeah, see you for my next video. Take care and bye bye.